Hello everyone, this is Sean Parvini and in this video I'm going to show you how to find the clock angle in an analog clock for a very specific example and I made up the time here is at 442 the AM PM doesn't matter here so it's 442 we're interested in finding the measure of the angle which I call theta in this diagram um, between the two hands of the analog clock now before we actually do this I want to answer a couple of questions first how many degrees are there in a minute okay so if you divide the 360 degrees which is the total number of degrees in a circle into 60 minutes that's when it takes it, that's how long it takes the minute hand to to make a complete rotation uh, from the, from 0 all the way to 60 and I would suggest that there are six degrees for each minute, six degrees per minute. The other question here that I want to answer is, well, how many degrees are there in an hour? So if we kind of follow the same process, well, we know that the entire uh, surface of this analog clock is made up of 12 hours. And the hours are equally spaced. So each of those will share an equal amount of that angle. 360 degrees. So if I divide 360 degrees by 12, I get the measure to be 30 degrees per hour. Okay, now let's actually look at the specifics here. So the key in being able to do this is the following. Um, we're going to actually take a look at the number of uh, whole hours here. Okay, between 4 and 8. So, and we know that each hour spans 30 degrees. So, so far we count 90 degrees. That's the measure of the angle from 5 to 8 o'clock. Okay. Now, um, this part is also easy to do because um, we are two minutes past 8 here. So, remember at 442. So, the amount of angle here measures two minutes and remember there are six degrees per minute so if i do two minutes times six degrees per minute that means for two minutes there are 12 degrees in two minutes that's that's the again uh, the distance the measure of the angle if you will from 40 to 42 now the question that remains which is the this was the easy part uh, the the more challenging portion of that is well as the minute hand moves from 0 to 42 the hour hand is also moving right so it's moving and in this case it's somewhere in here right and we want to know how far has the hour hand moved away from four o'clock okay and then we'll kind of put it all together and we have a final answer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a blow up of this portion of our clock here and when i do let me just paste that i've already done that there you go so let's take a closer look at what's going on with the hour hand at that point so with our hand here now let's see at 442 the hour hand is here somewhere right somewhere in here so um, if you look at the amount of or the measure of the degree that is spanned by the hour hand at 4, four at 42 this is how far the hour hand has traveled how far it has moved away from four o'clock right so i'm going to call that x all right, and of course, this other distance here is whatever we're going to find out to be. Now, remember, there are 30 degrees in an hour, right? So the share of X at 42 minutes after is going to be 42 out of 60, right? That's going to be the percentage, if you will, or the proportion of the angle that is swept by the hour hand from 4 to 5 and that's going to be the share of the 30 degrees okay 
and this will going to give me 21 degrees. So at 4.42, when the minute strikes 42, the hour hand has moved 21 degrees away from 4, 4 o'clock, okay? Now we can put all of this together. So remember, uh, up here, we already have these three measures. So the total, the total measure of the angle theta is going to be uh, 3 times 30 degrees. And then we're going to add, of course, 12 degrees plus 12 degrees that we had up here, right, for the two minutes past 40 plus. Now, the measure that we actually need is this measure right in here. That's how far uh, is the distance or the measure of the angle between the hour hand and five o'clock. And that portion is going to be, again, uh, if this whole thing is 30. X turned out to be 21, so this is actually going to be 9 degrees. So I'm just going to add another 9 degrees to this. And the total of these is going to be 90 plus 12 plus 9, or 111 degrees. So that's how you find the measure of the angle between uh, the minute and the hour hand in an analog clock. So I hope that this example, this is a brief video on just how to do this, the general idea. In another video, I'm going to actually derive the general formula for this to where you can just um, input the hours and the minutes in reference to 12 o'clock and be able to find the measure of the angle very quickly for any time on the clock. I hope you find this video useful and good luck to you.